Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I want to talk about customizing the home page in QuickBooks Online. Now before we actually jump into this, I would like it if you would subscribe to my channel, share it with others, or click on the notification bell to be notified of new videos. I try to publish new videos at least every week on QuickBooks related topics, mostly geared towards the accountant users, but I do have a lot of non-accountant users or end users that are a part of my subscription as well and I welcome anybody that wants to be a part. Now with that said, right now you can see that I am my Kathy's bookkeeping test file page on the home page. Now just to show you what it looks like if you are using an accountant firm, there's basically a few differences here so let me switch over real quick. So now you can see that I'm in the accountant's realm of my firm. And the major difference is that they've split up the, what we call the navigation screen or the getting things done into a separate tab. But everything in the business overview is basically the same. So when I talk about this with the Kathy test file, a lot of this is going to be similar stuff. So let's switch back over to the homepage for the Kathy test file. So basically this screen can be set up for you to see only the things that you want to see and hide the stuff that you don't need and to rearrange it. One of the first things you can do is you can click on what we call the custom layout here. And what that'll do is it'll bring up an area that you can either start dragging stuff into like the trash can or you can move things around. So let's say I wanted to maybe move my bank accounts up here to the top. And I can shove those over here. And then what that does is shove other stuff in other places. Now I know it lo looks kind of funny right now. But I may not even want to have tasks up there. Maybe I want the tasks to go like up at the top. And then I might want to get rid of this thing so I can just drag it in the trash. Well, let's see. I, I guess I click on the trash button. Here we go. That gets rid of that and it's not gone forever. Okay, so when we click on save here, you'll see what happens here. Okay, so we've saved that information here. Now, the other thing you can do is you can go under the customized layout here and what that does in, in click on add and remove widgets and what that does is it allows you to add those things back that you may have gotten rid of inadvertently or you can add more stuff to it or get rid of stuff. So let's say I don't want Let's see, maybe, I don't know, let's see, what can we, maybe we can add something. Maybe mileage. Mileage might be a good thing to add, even though I'm not tracking it in this file. But there's a widget for mileage that we can add. And then again, we can move these things around. That's what these, I think these little arrows allow you to do. They, you just select it and drag it to a new spot or whatever. So that's what you do with that. And of course, it bears to say that anything that, is in here is only as good as the information that you keep current. So if any of this information is not current, then it's not going to do you any good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on save for all this. So that way you can see that I have my tasks first and foremost. Then I have my banking accounts over here. I have my invoices over here. I have my sales and profit and loss. And you know, if I don't need any of these other things, I can go back and, and do some other stuff. But anyway, just go in there and play around with it. And you can make this thing truly your own in both the accountant's version and also in the individual files that you are working with underneath your firm. So anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Y'all take care and we will see you very soon.